Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So today what we're going to be working on is getting this part finally built. We got the room up here that we still need to do for both of these. Scroll all the way down. And it's currently summer now. Um, but we got uh, most of the building on the first floor done. As you can see here, we got the workshop set up for last episode. And we have the other one here. Oh, I think we're running out of storage space for holding these by the looks of it. So we might want to um, put some more storage down or something. I'm not sure what I want to do with that just yet. But we'll, we'll find that once we get this part built over here, what I wanted to do was store... Um, our bricks and other exports over on this side. That's why I wanted to put the awning over. So I'm just waiting for the floor to be built over on this side until we can do that though. But yeah, and I'm really liking how the trees look like this. They look a lot bigger. I'm not sure if they're healthier or anything. Maximum yield in 10 doesn't say that there isn't or is any problems. Budding. Yeah, I think they're about good, the way that they are. Sunlight mount, 66. 90. So yeah, these ones get a little bit less sunlight. So having it along places like this might really help. The only problem with that is... Um, they decide to replant. We have to go through all of them. But they do make really nice decoration. So... I don't know, it's kind of like a catch-22, right? If you want to look, make it look really good, then you have to go back and do that. Or the plants will eventually die, which is unfortunate. Because if they're in the sapling stage or whatever, I think it's, um, when is it, sapling? Then it will, um, what do you call it? It will uh, perish if there's a ice, like a, in the winter, if it's too early. But, uh, crops-wise, I'm not sure how we're doing here. Doesn't look like we have any food for export. I did send somebody out. They're coming back now, so we'll be able to do that and do something with them. All right, so let's just clean up this uh, logging area a little bit more. Try to keep this at least managed a little bit.
All right, so I adjusted the jobs a little bit more. They're a little bit more organized, so everyone's doing something at least. I've tried to focus on people's um, skill levels as well. So, um, like for example, the uh, things that they're most interested in, unless they don't have anything that they're interested in. And then I've just kind of defaulted to farming and stuff, but it should be a little bit more better now. Uh, harvesting is at highest priority, and then it's planting and stuff once all that is done. And everyone should have hauling as their last kind of thing as well. So hopefully this will help a little bit more with the backup for the harvests and stuff. As you can see, we're... We're running a little bit low on um, time for harvesting and stuff like that, but uh, with the crops here, uh, let's see, I've, I've told them not to harvest that, so I figure we can probably get one more harvest for this in, and that's going to take four days. We can get one more harvest for that in, we'll see if we can't let them plant a little bit more for that stuff. This takes seven days, so yeah, I'm going to tell them not to finish planting that because by the time they harvest everything, I don't think it'll be time to do that. So we'll just leave that as that. And um, yeah, so basically, it, I just worked on the jobs a little bit more, try to get everyone set up. We have a few more builders now. Everyone's a little bit more organized. So uh, cooks are still in the uh, kitchen area so they'll be doing all that stuff um yeah as far as everything else is considered i, I want to kind of organize a little bit more but okay what's going on here okay, those should be moved down yeah it might actually be beneficial to uh, have a couple people hauling honestly Some of the stuff needs to be moved over. The kitchen's getting a little bit of a mess, so... <laughs> oh boy, yeah. Um, but maybe we can get the... Uh, well, if we do the cooks, then they're, they're going to be focusing on hauling, and I don't want that. So, I don't know. Uh, is there anyone in here that we could actually tell them to work on hauling, maybe urgent hauling instead. Okay, he's the cook though. Um...
We're in for a storm. We got Thor's hammer going on again. <laughs> this is like, what, the fifth, fourth, fifth time this uh, season that we had this uh, event? That's harsh. Um, though it has been spaced out quite a bit apart, but it's just like, wow, okay. So, yeah, uh, we need to be careful of where these things hit because they do do block damage. Thankfully, there's no fire yet, but um, something to keep in mind when the um, event does happen and we do get the flammability in the game, so which is one of the reasons why I want to continue upgrading the wall and stuff like that, because then it will have proper supports and stuff like this. So The problem with that is we have a really big wall. <laughs> a lot of it's not even finished yet. Um, like we were going to do it with a wood and then I discovered that whole Thor's hammer thing and I'm like, you know, what? we should probably build it out of like better materials and stuff. I have been stockpiling bricks though, so that's helped a little bit. Actually, that pile can go back to storage. And we do got vinegar and stuff. Oh, that's what I forgot to put in the uh, kitchen. We need some vinegar in the kitchen. Yeah, I, I don't I don't have a stockpile in the kitchen for that yet. So I'll just create a new um, thing over here. Just so if we need vinegar, then we can easily grab that. Question is where to put it. I think I'll put it over here maybe. Nothing's over here at the moment, so. And that's under what? Materials, vinegar, yeah. So, there we go. I'll uh, we'll set that to high, so we'll have vinegar here permanently, so that'll be good. Uh, we should probably start figuring out how to produce more vinegar. I know it's like a lower grade thing, but it would be good to have that extra resource just in case, right? Um, as far as other things, I, I know that we can create things like pickled uh, stuff, which requires um, vinegar. Our three preservatives and oh we don't even need um vinegar for that we just need preservatives and then there's the eels salted eels that require salt so there's a few different options that we can do with that Oop, that was close yeah I don't know where that one hit looked like it was somewhere close though I've also been trying to tame a wolf, too. Alright guys, so we got quite a bit of stuff done today. I got one of the rooms finished. I think we got most of it finished. Um, we have a little bit still left to do by the looks of it. 
but it's a good quality room and then we got this other one that we're working on so we'll be having those two things and set up next episode for sure and what else did we do we got um the roof on so we got the roof of the building on and all the detail work around this area so uh, it looks a lot better now we can start focusing on the shadowing and uh figuring out where we can actually plant some crops and stuff like that might plant some trees here not sure just yet but we'll keep an eye on it and see what we can do and this little area here but um yeah i'm pretty happy with how it turned out it looks good and if we go out to the far part if we go into the um photo mode you can kind of see what it looks like with the uh wooden roof there so i'm really happy with how it turned out it looks good uh, i like the slanted roof it looks um unique where it's not you know it, it's it's recognizable of a different type of building and i'm glad i d designed it that way because it will um be a little bit different than what we were going for for the other parts now I could have um, made it a little bit sharper and stuff. There is a little bit of an angle. I can't really adjust the height of the thing or I would have tried to align it a little bit, but it's um, it'll do for what we want. Uh, I went with wooden roof just because we have so many clay roofs around here and we're gonna need to start saving up our clay for the wall and stuff like that. So as much as we can um, not use the clay unless it's like a really important building of some sort, uh, like a church or a you know the cooking area things like that that of points of interest then you know then we can go ahead with that but outside of that um if you are new to my channel we're we're coming to the end of the season really quickly so i'll be switching a game um the last time i checked uh stardew valley is in the lead so uh, we might be doing that game it's still a little bit too early to tell uh for sure because i still have a couple more days until it's uh, concluded but uh, we'll be most likely we'll be playing that game uh, depending on how the votes turn out um, if you want to hop on my discord server I will be you can get notifications for when there is a poll on the discord server and uh, the link is always in the description for my discord server as well so if you're interested in that you can always join and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out